Hello, hello everyone. Hello, beautiful. It's me again, Angelica. And today, my video is going to be about my favorite brands and my favorite palettes in my collection. I hope this video is not going to be too long. I really try to select the palettes I like. And obviously, I have more palettes from some brands which I really adore. So I'm going to talk about this today. And also, I'm going to show you the looks I create with these palettes. I showed the palettes. I'm going to talk about them because this is my favorite palette. I can't wait to share with you. And if for some reason you're still thinking which palette you should buy, uh, what should I create with this? Maybe they will inspire you my video. This is the video for you because this is actually is going to help you make decision or if you have doubts about some palettes, so stay tuned. And if you don't know me, my name is Angelica. I'm also a dance instructor who loves to dance and teach and my channel about obviously makeup, colorful makeup if you know me with a new touch also my channel it's about hairstyle and i'm so uh, i would say happy and blessed that i create so many looks with my almost 13 years old daughter we have so many looks we create please check it out our creation our full tutorial and if you don't have time please check it out our shorts also, my channel, it's about skincare. And if you don't know, I'm very passionate about skincare. Um, and I am so into Korean beauty products. So if you, some reason, didn't check my video, this is my latest video, please check it out. This is the most powerful ingredients, powerful product right now in the market. I'm sure you're not going to be uh, disappointed to check it out you have to see it by itself and do your own research and you will understand what i'm talking about and also my channel is about traveling i love to travel with my family and this is the latest traveling we have been in aruba for two weeks two parts aruba one aruba two please check it out we'll see a lot in this video and i'm sure you will find a lot of useful information in that video because when i go somewhere this is what I'm looking for. And the last things what I do in my channel, it's rating restaurant, wherever I travel. And by the way, you will see a lot of ratings of restaurant in that uh, Aruba part one and Aruba part two. And also I do review here in Toronto, where I am, all restaurants. So that's it, what is my channel? And that's it, what is my passion? I hope you're going to find something useful and something interesting for you, but today, it's about my favorite brands and my favorite palette. Can't wait to share what looks I create and can share my opinion about each of them. So let's start. It. So my favorite brands is, as if you guess, it's Bella Beauty Bar. I have the more palettes in my collection and the more of them I really, really are loving it. Also, I love Ansley Ray Cosmetic, and I like another uh, brand. It's Cleona Cosmetic with Canadian brands. I'm very proud of them, uh, and I really enjoy the quality. Odin's Eye, uh, by the way, I didn't bring any of them because I have uh, just uh, a lot of special shades, so we're not going to talk about that, but this is one of my favorite also brand, just for you to let you know. Also, I like Cosmic Brushes because they're affordable and pretty. Uh, great quality and the other two brands i like it's nomad cosmetic and adapt cosmetic about these brands i'm going to talk in a little bit but first we're going to start with bella beauty bar and i am so in love with this brand uh you know if you don't know me i like special shades my priority is having palette special shades of course, I love mattes as well, but for me, it's this wow factor, you know, which I'm looking for. By the way, today, this look I create using two palettes, and these two palettes is from one of, one of them is from Bella Beauty Bar. It's a dead rose palette, one of my favorite. I'm going to talk in a bit. And another palette is from Adept Cosmetics, Hyper Choir palette, which is also one of my favorites. So these two palettes I use to create this beautiful multi-chrome uh holochrome look of, as you can see so let's come back to bella beauty bar so the first palette i bought from bella beauty bar i can't remember i think it was basic witch or it was pastel garden 
I think it was pastel garden. Anyway, so the first time I bought a palette and first time I introduced, been introduced to this. If you look at this palette, it's such a great range of color. I know this palette is a bit big, but look at this colorful story. The, uh, the shades here are very beautiful and pigmented and also the range of the mattes are beautiful so you can create any looks you want the only reason this palette is not a traveling friendly for me because it's pretty huge but if you decided to take one palette for your vacation let's say and it's summer and it's so colorful and it's beautiful i think this is palette will be enough for you just for all your trip i really adore this palette so we have this beautiful shade. I'm going to swatch some of them. If I start to swatching, I think I'm going to be always glitter, but I will try to also find the looks I created. I think this palette doesn't have that much, you know, shifting shades as you will see in another palette, but you will see a great, a great uh, quality of shimmers, which are beautiful oh, like them. And you will decide and you will see what I am talking about. Like this so, is a yellow color, but this is, has a lot of shimmers inside, which is different color. It's bluish and pinkish. For example, this color is also reflected. This one is blue actually, and it's reflected with green. First, this is a purple. Look at this. I'm talking about the quality wise, and it's maybe not as much as shifted, but the shimmers are so so pigmented like look at this like even this color it's you see it's a it's a kind of blue but it has a purple undertone so they are shifting but maybe they're not that crazy shifting as will be other palettes but they still some of them shifting more but they are so pigmented so beautiful I'm talking about they're shifting maybe not as much but they are gorgeous they're beautiful the mattes also nice but they're more pastel -y. But they are pretty pigmented. Look at the pastels colors. Like they are gorgeous too. Uh, some people was actually, I remember they was complaining about that there's some colors are similar. They will say this colors a bit similar and maybe this undertone. But I would say maybe this only three kind of similar, but the rest are pretty good. I like the, uh, the changing of the shades and the you can just do the great transition. I mean, it's beautiful. I like this palette. I don't know. I didn't have any problem. I always have fun with this palette. I was intro introduced to Bella Beauty Bar, so it was for me like a heaven. I was playing with that. If we're talking and about Pastel Garden, yes, it's a beautiful, but uh, in the uh, basic witch, and look how this palette is already like uh, leaving the color away. This uh, time I will really understand another shimmering shifting color. So I think base uh, Bella Beauty Bar kind of um, creates something different, which has a more shifting in this terms of uh, shimmer. So I like both of them. Like I like different kind of shimmers. You want just the shimmers which are you know less. I would say shifting. Uh, but a lot of colors go for pastel garden. But if you want shifting, go for basic witch. It's and also convenient. It's not that big palette, so I like about it. Oh, so even let's... look this pink. It has more reflecting with blue. Also shifting. This, this is a pastel garden. This is a basic witch. Do you see the difference? Like they're both shifting blue. But this one is a lighter color. So it's a, just a different way of shifting. But they're both beautiful. So I wouldn't say that Pastel Gather has um, bad shimmers or something. So just they're different. So he, this is the all, except of course this color. This is all basic witch um, sh uh, special shades. And obviously my favorite is this color. I love this pink as well. Uh, I love this one. My favorite shades over here is this shade. I like this shade. I like this shade. They are beautiful and shifted also the uh, mats i'm going to show you the mats over here they are so pigmented they're very very blendable they are beautiful look at them i would say if you compare with pastel garden because they are more pastely so this is more 
brighter i would say it's brighter it's more pigmented but pastel garden is also not bad i can't say that mats and pastel garden worse than a basic witch it's just because they're pastely that's why you will not see that much pigmentation look at this like beautiful beautiful mats i mean the mats and the shifting the special shape they're all gorgeous and that's how i was really in love in uh, Bella Beauty Bar uh, brand. Later, later on, I bought another palette, which is one of my favorite as well. It's a red rose palette. Also, it was in the Halloween. So the basic, which was the first Halloween palette I purchased. This was my second Halloween palette. Look at this. This is a heaven who likes purple, who likes pink colors. They have a little bit of red color, but even this red, it's not like a red red. It's a beautiful color like i don't i'm not fan of reds but this color i don't mind it's called uh stupid cupid it's not as red it's like a reddish orange i would say it's such a gorgeous color very unique i really enjoy mattes over here i mean this is a heaven as i told you for people who likes purple they're like beautiful look at this it's not all of them and even we have like this very very light color so like if you want to create something not as crazy as this palette is which is i i really obsessed about this palette it's like you can use this color and maybe just have an accent and use this maybe or this like you can create a little bit less uh i would say uh bright way like i did today i use another palette but honestly if you look at this corner it's this palette so you can do like accent with some you know shifting colors but the uh, special colors here are so gorgeous like mattes are so gorgeous special colors are so gorgeous i like also about bella beauty bar that they have also different kind of um shimmers like the consistency is different some of them is smoother than another which i prefer most smoother one obviously so this is a little bit kind of um you have to you see how it goes with the uh, chunky uh, thing but when you use uh, a right brush or your fingers i actually prefer this kind of um a consistency when it's like chunky i prefer to use fingers i think fingers is the best look at this amazing quality i mean this is insane this is like a wet effect and i'm it's a crazy how indie brands get to this level like if you look at a big brand like even Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona, this is better. This is better. And that's why it's price what it, the price is. They maybe don't have that fancy, fancy packages, but what is inside? Like even the package is not bad. I don't mind. I'm not going to eat the package. Yes, I love the package of Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath, but honestly, what you get inside, sometimes you're not getting there. Like Pat McGrath, I stopped buying it because I found this indie brand. There's no point for me to buy Pat McGrath. Like, this is insane. Like, you will get maybe in Pat McGrath two, three special colors, and that's it. How many colors are you getting here? Like, seven of them, six of them? Look, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Like, how you can beat that? Like, you can't beat that. It's so gorgeous. It's so amazing. Them are really smooth and beautiful. So, I really enjoy that palette because it has a lot of beautiful shades, which is glided in your eyes okay. and this is pretty it's very smooth smooth nice as well nice and uh, so so and this is the flicky one the rest is a pretty good one so look at this again look at this palette like if you like this cover story grab this you will never regret this is insane one of my favorite one of my favorite like every every palette i show you today i don't want it even to to remove it every palette i show you today they are my favorite palette the one i really into it and i'm looking forward to purchase something else from the same brand look i can't even remove i it's all shimmers i need to wash my hands give me a second okay i wash my hands i'm sure i'm going to wash in this video many many times and the last palette what i purchased from bella beauty bar and after that they released so many many palette i was kind of restrict myself thinking i'm going to buy something i don't have in my collection something unique something will catch my eye something i'm going to use it because i have so many palettes. last one is the secret garden palette and why i purchased this palette because it's a different color story uh it's again a big a bit big palette the same as uh, the pastel garden so this is the different color story 
of course it's an accent for greens and so this color story is different it has a pastel tones as you see so if you want to really you know create something like for for uh, winter for autumn you can go a little bit you know less colorful and create something daily a uh, daily basis friendly but for me daily basis friendly is this so this is me and this color story is beautiful i'm you know me i don't care about browns to be honest but i don't mind to have like this brown for example with some of this interesting like more neutral colors i don't mind but it's really uh impressed me again with the quality of uh, the mats and quality of shimmers and I'm going to show you some shimmers here some of them they again here is a different texture I would say so some of them were smooth some of them uh, more I would say have like a chunky and you have to really use your finger so the smooth one I remember and even now I'm going to show you is all these greens like this this um, which one this I remember all this is so smooth uh, a little bit of a uh, texture, I would say this and probably this three or four. This one also smooth. And the mattes are very blendable. I'm going to try to show you how many looks I create with this palette. So I'm so, going to switch now. The one is very, very smooth. Actually, this one is the less smooth than all this three. So I'm just going to show you how smooth they are. So you will understand and how shifty they are and how they amazing like look at this color story but this one is also like a darker uh, base with uh, blue but when i look at this it's a bright bright purple i mean they're all gorgeous this is like shifting with turquoise i'm i mean i am in shock like this is gorgeous is it this is amazing right this color and this color they are a little bit feel more oily i would say so be careful if you have an oily lid this can be a little bit a problem i think so this one is not bad this one a little bit maybe two or three of them feels this way but honestly look at this this one actually color is reflected with so many different colors i don't know if you see it has like a blue green everything i don't know if you can see it yeah, I think now you can see it. Look at this color story. Like this is more, without this, more neutral. That's what I was telling you. You can really create something very, uh, you know, for your work if you if you more neutral person. But honestly, uh, you're not going to buy this this palette because you're a neutral person. Because look how many colors is here. But it's an option if you decided to, for example you are more neutral person you're not as crazy as me i want to put all color possible in my eye so let's say you like green and you like pinkish so but you create something very neutral and then you put one of this color which is really attract you or match your outfit or you want to do accent so let's say i'm creating uh, my corner this and then i put something very light at the beginning and then in the middle all my low lash i want to do some accent and i uh, take one of those so, i i hear a lot of this kind of comments oh i like this color story i like this color that so colorful but it's not for me and i'm thinking why it's not for you you think you think it's not for you because it's colorful you need to just know how to play with the color just just open your mind see how a lot of creators create the look not me just a lot of them in youtube some famous one but for me for example i understand i can't for example uh put a uh, fake lashes and do this crazy looks i think it's too much it's, it's overpower but again so, don't assume it's not good for you why not try it try to play around it's, uh, create something very very uh light at the beginning and just accent at the at the end and that's how you get into it me too i really don't like dark 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 eye like everything dark you know how they put all dark and then go over with some shimmers for me i think it's too much as well so we have all our limits and 
preference but i think everybody should try it because it's so much fun believe me let's move on for ansley ray again i wash my hands this is the second time just let you know because i was kind of holding myself but definitely i'm going to purchase more palette from ansley ray one of my favorite also a beautiful uh, brand and the first palette i purchased it was twisted tea party and i believe it was also in halloween uh, it's just so beautiful look at this color story like uh, i'm not too much fan of this but i don't mind because it's kind of you can also go to warmer color and create something you know for again for war for colder season but the color story is beautiful i really abuse and use so i need to give it to my mom as well so she will have also opinion she's older lady and she uses it and she loves colors so here we go to swatch all these beautiful colors this is all special colors in this palette. More than happy to swatch. I'm going to do it in two hands to show you. So okay. this is the whole uh, special shade Again, of these colors. Remind me the color from the uh, Bella Beauty bar. Look at this shifty, like gorgeous. Like this guy, it's shifted so many colors. It's pink, it's green even, it's blue. I mean, they are gorgeous. So you have an idea how this palette look like. This and is the mat. So let's switch the mats. Look how much is pigment they are. Like they are gore, gore, just. And we have black. We have this. This is not my favorite color, but I don't mind to go with this one, which is like a bricky one, which a lot of people like, but it's not my favorite. So we have like a warmer one. And we have this. This is basically all color story. And what I like about this color story that, again, there's a lot of variety of looks you can create. You can create more monochromatic looks like blue and purple, or you can mix it up and add with goldish green. And you can create, for example, this color story, you know, like just be more like a wintry color. Palette. And, and the last palette I bought, Flourish palette, and oh my goodness almost dropped it this is the palette flourish palette and they had two palettes actually one of them was not that colorful as this one and you know me i actually was tempted to buy two of them but i ended up buying only this because you know me i'm like no i have to be more strict with myself this is more up to my league the other is more muted which is also gorgeous very very was close to buy the other one and i like this format this is format is beautiful format to travel i took it for my last traveling i really enjoy it maybe switch couple of them <laughs> because you will see swatches anyway the special shades and uh, a lot of them are smooth some of them are not as smooth as another i'm going to pointing which one so this is basically the I color mean, it's so gorgeous it's so beautiful and it's not like you will think oh it's screaming colors but it's not really this one screaming. is like a topper it's not as a pigmented like it is on my finger you can put it on any colors like on any mat and create your own kind of shift this one it's very smooth it's very nice uh i even like this one it's fiery this is interesting one. over here yes it's this one the red one so gorgeous as well this one is this i think it's called nectar you see how it's it's like a pinkish purplish it's a, such a beautiful color story it's at the same time you think it's bright but at the same time if you look at this shifting colors it's not as bright as you think it's just have some accent but the mats also are so gorgeous this mat right it's you think it's brown but it's not it's like a more burgundy burgundy color and if you start to blend this color is so gorgeous look you see burgundy and that's how you understand it's a get burgundy you can see this redness coming out so if you want to blend it out and then do accent it's so gorgeous like accent this, like this is the color story yellow it's so pigmented it's so gorgeous at uh, the beginning of your eye and then you can blend it with this greenish undertone and this one is so gorgeous too wrong, like wrong finger what color is it what what color is it? it's such a bright like something like a raspberry pinkish core i don't know what color is it it's like a gorgeous it's out of this world honestly like even mattes it's really really surprised me and this look at this one very like beautiful purple and really i impressed with this uh kind of pastely orange 
Like all colors is beautiful. I can't, I can't say, oh, I'll remove this color because I don't like it. No, I don't. And even this, this one is a little bit uh, flicky, I would say, but it's such a gorgeous color as well. I think it's this, this is the color, yeah. So it's beautiful as well. So if you want to create something like very more neutral, you can actually do with this palette. You use this one, this, and you do this guy and some accent maybe with this at the beginning. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. I create so many looks. Another okay. brand which I am uh, in love, it's Cleona Cosmetic. I told you about Cleona many, many times. I really love it. So how I start with Cleona, first of all, it's Canadian brand. It's very convenient to buy for me. It's right here, but it's not about convenience. It's about the qualities. It's a, such a gorgeous quality. So I start obviously by a single shade from Cleona, which I have a lot of them. I didn't bring it. It's, the video will be so long. And then I bought a first palette. They have a Dragonfly palette, which is all special shades. I'm loving it. I did, just didn't like the packaging. And then they changed the package from plastic to carton, which is very smart. They hurt everybody. And, and then I bought another palette, Deep Sea Treasure palette, which is very also convenient to take it with you. Also, it was all special colors. And this is the color story. I really enjoyed this palette. I hope I have some... Uh, videos or some uh, looks I can show you. Oh, this palette is gorgeous. It's such a gorgeous palette. This color over here, it's called Ring of Fire. It's such a gorgeous color. Look at this. It's not red. It's not, it's like a red orange, I would say. Orange, yes. It's a red orange, something like that. I mean, each color, this is also my favorite color. Very great to do at the beginning of your eye. Look how pigmented. This is as smooth as a butter. And this is what I like about this palette. Most of them are smooth. I will not say there is some colors which I, you know, squishy or uh, difficult to put for people who has a oily, oily lids. They're all very smooth. It look, look like a green, but it's reflect with purple. So let's see. Yeah, it has something you see the color? Look a purplish undertone. And I was thinking it's it's uh, it's I am uh, imagining or not. No, it has a purplish undertone. Look how beautiful. Another green, which is more like a green. Also has a like a darker darker base, but it's also reflect even with a blue. Look how this pigmented. Like it's a gorgeous palette. This color. This is a purple. Like it's so. I don't know. It has a shimmers, but it's like effect of. Uh, wet effect, which is amazing. I love this effect. This is remind me uh, like in the red rose some color So this is how it is. You have to you can do accent on it and then we have Really purple which is less shifting. Look at this color story. It's like a wet With some different shifting so can I normally don't use even mattes I just go with it. I do accent with this color and then I put this one and at the beginning I can do this color very lightening up. This color is beautiful, gorgeous. Sometimes I actually take this palette and use some of these colors, which is a so gorgeous, especially this one at the beginning is so gorgeous. Like so in another palette, a latest palette from Cleona Cosmetic as Ashiana palette, I really enjoy. I will have in each of this palette, I have a full video, full tutorials. I create uh, at least two looks or three looks and I talk about this palette that I love. Everything about this palette, the only thing, the mats give the kick back in the pan, but they are so pigmented, so blendable, so beautiful. So this is the color story. I mean, I love this color story. I don't want my video be so long. So this is, again, uh, remind me from another palette, this shade. What I like about Cleona, that all the special shades, they are so, so soft. And that's what I love. enjoy this palette a lot. If you like this color story, this is definitely for you. Uh, I love that you can create so many looks. You can create uh, purplish, greenish, uh, you know, different green undertone, even with like turquoise. You can create a bluish also uh, looks with green. I like they're so soft and smooth. Like there is nobody beat so far. Uh, Cleona or Adam. Uden's Cosmetic or how they pronounce it, Uden. Uden's Cosmetic with a quality of the shades, some, the smoothness, the more smooth they have. They, I think, a little bit are uh, 
constant with the smoothness like if Bella Beauty Airball or Ansley Array, they are beautiful shifting, I can't say anything, but some of them still have a texture and this what Cleona or Uden's Eye Cosmetic has better than them in this case. Okay, there is another brand I want to mention which I like, which I mentioned here at the beginning of my um, video. And this is another brand is Adept Cosmetic. I have only two palettes, one of the elements 115 and this is uh, Cyper Choir and this Cyper Choir obviously uh, my favorite uh, color story and my favorite um, palette compared to another one it's just so fiery so pigmented so beautiful the special shade you know me I love that there's two row special shades and one row of mattes some people don't like that it's not me and they are just freaking amazing this color story is gorgeous that's why I'm looking forward to purchase something but I'm going to really purchase something which is really special shades like this palette and this be uh, this yellow has uh, three colors uh, this is my absolutely favorite I mean they're all beautiful and I actually use this yellow today over here yeah. and freaking gorgeous I would say honestly it's so beautiful it's so pigmented it's and like this pink is like it's here it's gorgeous look at this look at this shield like for I mean, example it has a lot of inside um glitters and this is what it's called holochromes you see that a lot a lot of them different I colors like this color story i create so many beautiful looks with this palette i just love how refreshing and how fiery it is and how pigmented it is it's like gorgeous i have no problem with this palette i really enjoy this palette another oh. affordable brand and i have a many palette from this brand but i bring just this palette because I really think it's a beautiful palette from Cosmic Brushes it's Wonderland uh, Winter Palette actually it has a purple that's what I like also it's not just blue it's also purple it's such a gorgeous palette it has um, pastel colors as well it has uh, more emphasized colors it has blue colors it has turquoise colors they are so gorgeous of course they have uh, only two shifted uh, special colors Look at these two colors and it's so gorgeous it's so beautiful they are very shifting a lot of people like about this brand it is affordable great quality amazing color story what else you need like if you can't really afford higher like a more expensive bread with more you know special colors inside more shifted like six seven of them and you're okay with two of them and it was great great mats and with great great shimmers there that is also another option and honestly sometimes I use this palette I I don't think they are much much worse than another one I think it's just different concept and because they're all smooth it's so easy to work with them they're so blendable and look at the color stories they're so yummy looking and I just love it it's a UK brand and a lot of people like it and there is another palette I think that's going to be my last palette and it's from Nomad Cosmetic. Nomad Cosmetic, I really enjoy this brand. I like, first of all, they do a lot of charities. They help animals, they help, you know, environments. They go to different places and according to different places, they create a different palette. So they are very special, very different from any other brands. Maybe they don't have that many special shades, but the quality is great and they're pretty affordable as well. So that's why I like Nomad Cosmetic. It's one of the uh, brand which is kind of between and with a full of surprises as well and one of the surprises I had is New Zealand Stargazing palette I think it's absolutely absolutely gorgeous palette look at this color story it's something different as well I want to purchase something really different again it has a blue undertone there but this has a grayish bluish it has a lot of warm colors as well we have a different kind of stories here we have a lot of warm colors which I like and a lot of you will like this color story because you can create a very neutral with a punch of colors I would say and it has a shifting colors that this is more shifting this more this is also beautiful not all of them are crazy shifting but all of them are smooth that's what I like about this another brand that is all smooth uh, these shimmers and the mats are very blendable very great quality i really enjoy i really enjoy all of these mats uh it's they are very good together they blend it well they are like gorgeous some of them i just uh, show you and you can i create so many looks with this palette and i love it i think this palette is very suitable for many of you because 
it is palette neutral, but uh, perfect neutral, I would say for me, because I'm not into neutral, but this neutral, I don't mind. I don't mind this kind of colors, you know, and they are very suitable for every day. They are not screaming. They are very blendable. They're just a gorgeous color story and actually affordable. So I like Namad Cosmetics as well. I'm also going to watch Namad Cosmetics. They're also are releasing a lot of bright colors as well, like a summery palettes, which I don't mind. Um, of course, I'm already spoiled with all the shimmers and all these duochromes, multichromes, all the shiftings. I don't know. Uh, uh, holochromatics uh, colors. I know we're all kind of spoiled. We want something wow, which <laughs> I don't know what wow we can do. But all these uh, palettes are gorgeous and all of them are different. And it also depends on how much you want to spend as well and what colors you're looking for. Maybe you don't like that they shifted that crazy. Maybe you don't like the color story I show you today, but there is some of them are very suitable for everybody. And before I forget, I want to really compare all these blue shades from different, uh, different palettes, from different brands, which I think are pretty similar. So and this is a Bella Beauty Bar Tea Party, okay? To put as a first one, Tea Party, okay? This is Basic the, Witch, okay? This color over here, pretty similar, and I show you that before. Look how similar, I think it's identical. Sightwear Choir Adapt Cosmetic, this is a little bit uh, I would say um, oily. So this is going to be Adapt Cosmetic. Wow, that's what I saw. They're very similar. These three colors is really identical. Honestly, I don't know if you see the difference. I don't see difference, to be honest. Even I look like this at my hand. Honestly, very similar, very similar reflection. Okay, and there's another two. I don't know, this is the, the longest name ever. This guy over here so okay this is a completely different it's more like a purple from okay. Ansley Ray flourish so this is the flourish one let's see oh yeah okay okay this is a little bit different because I told you this is like a topper it's a less it's more transparent but have a same kind of reflection and on Cleona I saw the similar but it's really different undertone so these two are really different but these three from bella beauty bar basically ancillary cosmetic and adapt cosmetic this three this is the top one they are similar okay so that's what i want to figure out there's another color in uh, wonderland palette but i don't think it's similar because i think it's a different undertone from Cosmic brushes. No, it's not similar. I'm going to swatch it for you. Yeah, it's different. It's nothing to do with none of them. It's completely different. So yes, that's what my idea. I saw, I thought, I know for sure there will be two or three similarities. So we And that's it for today. It was a great chance for me to finally find, because I see all this palette, what the similarity with the shades. And I was right. Three shades were similar from three different brands. And I hope this video was useful for you. First of all, thank you very much. Stay till the end of this video. And I hope it's helped you to decide which palette you like, what store you like. Maybe you decided to purchase something. Maybe you just have fun with me today. And let me know. Let me know also which brand is your favorite. Now you know which was my favorite brand. And maybe I missed something. And also, which is your favorite palette? Did you see your favorite palette over here? Or you have something else? Let me know. And I see you soon. Пока-пока. Have a wonderful and beautiful day. Depends where you are.